It's about, I don't even know, like 6.40 in the morning. Super early. It's like you can't even, can't even see out there. I want to challenge myself to run at least five days a week until me and Lauren get married. It's been a challenge because normally I'm up till like most YouTubers, two in the morning editing videos, promoting stuff. So I've been getting up a little bit later and then going back at it. But I want to challenge myself in order to be healthier and obviously to look a little better for that honeymoon, if you know what I mean. Obviously I could sleep in and run later, but I feel like in order to make sure I actually do it, I gotta do it the first thing of the day. That way I know it's done. So I'm even gonna just leave my phone here and just, just enjoy the scenery. Go run for a little bit, come back, even if I have to go back to sleep, but that's my goal. I wanna start to run a little bit. Uh, we got a little bit over one month, so I think I can do this. So we'll go ahead and head out and I'll see y'all guys see you guys in a little bit. <sighs> Just got back. Probably went on a 20, 30 minute run. Definitely need to get get my cardio up. But I was thinking while I was running. I just got so happy. Sometimes we run and I feel like we um, we look at some of the things that we have to do at his work and it is, don't get me wrong, running, especially when you're running with a certain type of speed, it's a lot of work. At the same time, what I thought about is just how much of a blessing life is like what are the chances of us being on this earth at this time right now you know what are the chances of that it's so slim just for you to be born all of the different chances the different possibilities of you even being the one that was chosen when your mom and your dad even had sex is so slim it could have been another another human that was born instead of you and then had all the people in the world that are dying every day or, or you know, just think about those chances. And I just thought like, God chose us. Like, it could be anybody else on this earth right now or anybody else watching this video or anybody else recording this video, but he chose us. To me, what that mean, meant is to just look deeper into the meaning of life. Like we're blessed. And I feel like since he chose us to be here, we have a responsibility and we can't get caught up in how many YouTube subscribers we have or how much money do we have or what, how big a car we have or how big a house we have and how nice a car we have. Instead, it's like, how much impact are we making on the world and on the people around us? And when we start to think about it like that, it makes everything else so much easier because it's like, yo, those aren't the metrics that I'm going by. I have a bigger vision. So why everybody else is hung up on, man, I don't have this car, I don't have this house, or I can't go here, I can't do that. It's like, <laughs> you got it all wrong. That's not even what it's about. It's about making an impact. So you got a, a million followers, but you ain't making no impact. So to me, <laughs> that's not even what it's about. I'll take my couple hundred, but they know I'm making an impact and they know I'm doing what the best I can with my one life. And I think that's, I just wanted to share that message for anybody watching. It's a bigger purpose to life. It's rare that we're even here, the possibilities, and man, God chose us. If you're watching this, you're chosen. We have a responsibility to go out here and impact the world. As I was running, I'm just like, man, I gotta start being thankful for everything. There's people out there that can't even move their legs, that can't move their arms, can't even see. So just to be able to get out there and run, at a at a fast pace is a blessing not everybody can even do that so it's like why it sucked to wake up this early and it was hard to run it's a blessing and not everybody can do it so appreciate life and know that there's a purpose and know that you're chosen and let's all let's be in this together and let's help each other make an impact Whew, i gotta go catch my breath
<laughs> Approximately 10 hours later. Man, that that run earlier today took so much out of me. I had to take like two naps. And then ever since then, I've been in work mode, so I forgot. I'm like, dang, I did start the vlog today. I need to close it out. <laughs> what I'm doing right now is, if you watched our other videos, you would know that we were planning a trip to Rome and we just got our plane tickets uh, not too long ago. Just did a video about that. I can link it. But now we're trying to figure out our airbnb plans and the craziest like when i tell people god works in crazy ways he works in crazy ways and that's why i always have faith that things are going to work out i'm not going to get super spiritual on you right now but just hey god works in mysterious ways let's just agree on that so we're trying to figure out how we're going to get the money to do all this stuff and go over there like i said watch the video It'll give you a little better a uh, little more explanation but i was looking for some thank you cards because i wanted to write someone a note and in the drawer i found a check for a thousand dollars that was written to me on my birthday so but it was written last year in december so i'm like why is this in this drawer still so i'm like hey i'm gonna just try to deposit it on my mobile checking just to see if it's something that i uh already cashed or not so when i put it in the phone it accepted it and it, and it deposited some of the money in my bank account now today is christopher columbus day so not all of it went through and once it gets over like a certain amount they have to like check it or whatever but i was like okay all right so i had another one in there that was for 50 bucks i tried to cash that too and it said check already uh this check has already been cashed so i'm like it would have probably said that for the thousand dollar one if that was the case so it didn't say that for this one so i'm kind of like i really did i really have a thousand dollar check just sitting in there god be like yo i'm gonna come through for you but it's gonna be in a weird way so hopefully tomorrow i'll know but the plan right now is and i wrote it down let me get it the plan right now we're gonna be in in italy for two weeks so the plan right now is to go is to start off in rome for one two three we're gonna go for three and a half days and then from there we're gonna go to pastiano hopefully i'm saying that right uh on the Malfi coast and go there for one two three four four and a half days go to naples for like two or three days and then go back to rome for you know the end of the weekend thursday friday saturday sunday and then we'll leave out um on monday we did want to go to florence and venice but it's supposed to be really cold then it's supposed to be like in the 30s maybe and uh Malfi coast and naples south of italy is supposed to be in like the 60s so i'm not really trying to be there when it's super cold so i think we're gonna go south what i want to ask you guys is who's been to italy and who has some suggestions because I want to get out of my mindset that we're going to visit places once like God willing we'll have a long life and we'll be able to visit these places more than once so I want to go back but what are your guys' suggestions do you guys like North Italy South Italy what are your guys' favorite cities and then what are your favorite things to do in those cities and also do you know any other vloggers could be you or someone else that vlogs in Italy I would like to check out their stuff and possibly link up with people while we're there so looking forward to italy it's crazy it's gonna be next month i remember when uh i have it right here i remember when i wrote it i remember when i wrote it on this board right here and it's coming true so writing your dreams down is is very important let me know your italy suggestions um i'm actually gonna get some rest here in a minute like i said that freaking run killed me and i gotta do that five times every week until we go to rome which is november 26th and right now it's like october 9th or something like that 8th so a little over a month but i know i can do it but it made me super tired so let me know you guys suggestions i'm gonna close that out look forward to talking to you guys in the comments also let me know if you guys have any cool um airbnb suggestions as well sometimes i don't know how to close these out so i'm just gonna in this one. See ya. It's like we got our tickets. Oh man, you can see. And it's on the same exact date that I had written down weeks and weeks and weeks ago. <laughs> 